Hi friends, it's Carmen. Look where I'm at. I am at the Home Depot down in Lake Wales, so it's south of me. And um, it's been a rainy morning. You can see from the clouds up there, hopefully you can see, it's been really rainy this morning. So there was a break in the rain. I figured I'd come out, venture out, and see what this particular Home Depot has. I have not been to this one, so this one is a new one to me and I can feel little droplets coming down, so we better get inside. Let's go. Okay, so we're under a little bit of cover here, but you can tell it was raining here very, not too long ago, but look at this beautiful arrangement right here. And a nice, beautiful urn. That's only $50. Gorgeous cordyline purple shield some trailing plants there it's got that formula of the thriller filler and spiller it's gorgeous beautiful begonias you know that begonia I got on clearance from Lowe's it is doing fabulous in my front porch hasn't missed a beat beautiful purslane Look at these caladiums. Wow. Oh, these are $16.98. They come in a little cover pot. There's a nursery pot inside this very colorful cover pot. But these are wonderful. I wish these were around or around Christmas time. Maybe they are here because these would make a wonderful uh, Christmas decor as opposed to poinsettias. That would be great, but I don't know if they have them around Christmas time. There's another beautiful arrangement. Sweet potato vines and some impatience and a palm tree. Or just hibiscus. We'll head over to the indoor plants here in a second. Get this Mandeville 1498 beautiful stone crop it's a great cover and look 398 huh look at that that's definitely cheaper than the ones they sell over in the uh, in the uh, succulent section lots of bees around here I like these we had these a lot in uh, in uh, Florida Mexican petunias. There's another name for them, but they have them listed as Mexican petunias. Beautiful, incredible flowers. Let's go see what they have in in the house plants. Right here, they have this wonderful fiddle leaf fig tree with some golden poultice down at the bottom. It's $99. It's already all potted up really nice but here are their indoor plants but they have them outdoor <laughs> so the vigoro is in this section right here these ponytail palms $14.98 looking really nice and some beautiful aglaonemas $14.98 also there's another aglaonema it's gorgeous need to get more aglaonemas and some palms, also $14.98. Oh, wonderful Birkins. This one's got a lot of variegation, but you see, oh, look at this variegation. I thought that was browning, but it's actually like a pinkness to this one. That's so cool. On the front, it's green, but on the back, it's like a pink. That's really cool, almost a half moon there. If I didn't have a Birkin already, I'd pick that up. Bird's Nest Fern, $14.98 also. Really beautiful, great condition. They're not overwatered and they're not dry. There's a plant person working here. Somebody's taking care of these. Dukumbakia. And here they have some really big bromeliads. 
$19.98 and there's a couple in each uh, pot incredible vibrant color and oh these are ceramic I like the the uh, pot on it because it has like a crazing on it you know what that's uh, when ceramic um, looks like it has little cracks in it $34.98 $35 for these arrangements a little high but I like the pot okay this is what I came to see this right here hello my darling this um, silver streak it doesn't say the name but I recognize you 1998 wow look at this look at these area roots there this is a really nice one here's another really nice one I wonder how I bet you these do well obviously it's vining but I bet you it would do really well in a totem pole let's get some new growth down in there this one's a little bit shorter and we got some ZZ's here the chameleon the raven stay right there I'll be, I'll be back for you and looks like global green and syndaptus you know I still don't have a syndaptus trubii I have never purchased one these are shorter ones. They're not very long as far as vining. This one's got a little bit. This, these look like they may be... I don't have them listed, but this looks like it may be the uh, lemon meringue. Yeah, it looks like it. And then over on this side, they have... They continue, and they have... Um, that and Sonii, very, very large leaves. You know, I get suspicious of these large leaves um, that these are off of cuttings because for a young plant, it would not have very large leaves like this. It, large leaves like this come from the end of a very mature plant, as does this right here, this Raphidophora tetrasperma, that thick stalk comes from a cutting, I mean, which is fine, you know but that's just something good to know see a picta beautiful network calathea and the begonia mm, so glad to see these back there's a nice big one here Ugh. get my hand out of there Looks like they have three in a pot. And right here they've got some bonsais. $36.98 for this one. Wow. That's actually a really good price because that's a nice looking mature ficus bonsai. Some portulacara for bonsais. bamboos uh, well we won't even talk about this right here let's just move on okay so desert escape cactus and succulents from Costa Farms <clears throat> these are three dollars and 33 cents for these little two inch ones nice little selection the tags are bigger than the succulents. All I see are tags. Beautiful selection of bromeliads and orchids here that are already potted up. Like this. This looks like dendrobium. 
Oh my gosh, it's so gorgeous. I don't see a price, but they're gorgeous. I got my first Phalaenopsis and repotted it into my vintage planter and it's doing well. Well, these bromeliads are happy with this rain. Look how the cups there are filled up. They are just happy as clams with all this rain. Mm -hmm. Look at this arrangement here. This is a white bird of paradise with some pothos down at the bottom. That's also $100. And they have some more fiddle leaf with pothos down at the bottom. And they have this really nice little fiddle leaf. This is $40, $39.98. And some really huge Sansevieria's Zelanica's $35. Gorgeous. More fiddle leaves. This is $19.98, which I don't understand the difference between the one over there that's $35 and this one. That's a Melophineers Melocation, $19.98 nice. So weird to see them so common here and at such a low price. And here they have some palms $22.98. Beautiful majesty palms. Some nice yucca arrangements with uh, pothos $34.98. Oh, beautiful ferns. Australian sword fern, $24.98. That's nice. It's in a nursery pot, but with a uh, cover pot on it. That's really nice. That's a good price for that. Sansevieria's, $26.98. Zelanica Laurentii. Oh, these are nice. There's several in there. Look at these huge aglaonema. $39.98. This very huge one right here. $39.98 for these beautiful peace lilies that are in a basket. That really beautiful. Love the basket. They're just about all of them are blooming. They look in great shape. Oops, I don't know. They tore that off. That's still valid. That may be an old sale. But the price on them is $39.98. And some more yuccas and bird of paradise. $39.98 also. That's actually a good price. There's two really big bird of paradise in there. $69.98 for these huge majesty palms and fiddly fig and yucca plants. So $69.98. That's that's actually a good price too. Those are huge. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Talk about a statement plant. That one is $69.98 also. These are all from Vigoro plants, which they have really good selection. Over here on this side, I have some Dracaenas 26.98 and some really nice looking Raven ZZs. Those are 39.98. A little bit different pot, but they're big. Burgundy, Ficus Burgundy, 26.98. These are also in really good shape. You know what I don't see out here, I have not seen, is the Taniki and um, the Ruby. All I see are the Burgundy. Rarely do I see a Taniki or a Ruby. It makes you wonder. Here's a Regal Shield as I go through this jungle. <laughs> These are huge, $26.98 and Wow, that's going to need repotting soon. Look how big those stocks are. There's another Alocasia. There's three in there, $26.98. But 
these regal shields look at the burgundy underneath so so gorgeous I was just about to go inside and I saw this little display here this is a Cupid Peperomia 1298 these are smart planet plants almost looks like a Hindu rope there this is a Cupid Peperomia 1298 and they have these little arrangements they have succulents with this spider plant in here which is really weird I've never seen that and that's 1998 looks like it's in the little nest and these agaves 2698 for the century plant which gets absolutely huge if you put it in the ground Madagascar palm 2698 also and these arrangements are 1998 in a little like plastic barrel those are nice and there's quite a few in here well this is good 1698 for this display and it's got like six different plants in it mallow that's a good deal right there for 1698 and these hanging ones are $24.98. I've never seen a snake plant in a hanging basket. That's cool. These are $24.98 also. These are just kind of random here. <laughs> these are proven winners. I came inside and this is the only display they have inside. All of their plants are pretty much outside but let's take a look kangaroo paw fern that desperately needs water you can tell by the feel of the leaves and some type of ivy strawberry begonia this is nice that's a trailing i think these are 1998 they do have heart leaf philodendrons and 1998, the usual price for the exotic angels plants. I have a nice little syngonium here hanging. This one's 15.98. It's in the, the six-inch basket. The eight-inch baskets are 19.98. Here's another one. A little bit different color. Rabbit's foot friend that also needs some water. And these little ferns look like button fern. This one looks like it's trying to climb out of its basket here. <laughs> trying to make it an escape. So then they have, I think they've had these outside. Yeah, these were the ones that were outside. They have the Monstera Deliciosa from Vigoro Farm, Vigoro Plants, $26.98. So this one says $29.98. For this uh, peace lily in a basket. $26.98. And their aglanemas. Same ones they had outside. So it looks like majority of their plants are outside. Okay, so out here, oh, and it's starting to rain. They have the Proven Winners Leaf Joy Collection, which is really picked over. There's hardly anything left. They have some Birkins. And I think these are 19. Yeah, 1998. And did they name these? Philodendron Prisma Color Green Princess. That's 1998 also, but these look like they've been picked over. They have some Ansonia in 1998. Yeah. Oh, look. What did I just say that I hardly see Tanikis? 1998, but oh, that's a sad, sad little Taniki. rain and as soon as I get to the register and I had to run out 
I will show you what I have at home, okay? Okay, bye. <laughs> okay, so we're back home. That was an experience. I hadn't been caught in the rain like that in quite a while, but I made it home safely, thank God. So let me show you what I got. I only got two things. So I did pick up this begonia maculata polka dot plant, polka dot uh, uh, begonia. And this is the Trending Tropicals. Remember one of their original uh, uh, selections in their Trending Tropicals when it first came out? Well, it's back out again. And I am going to try with this one again. Last one I had a few years back didn't make it. So I'm going to try with this one again. Um, I'm hoping that the cane begonia will be easier. So that's at least that's what I heard and that's kind of was my experience until I overwatered it <laughs> but it was this one was actually the tallest one that they had there and the, has perfect leaves I didn't see anything wrong with it no bugs no crispiness to it at all and it was outside too um, and it's got some new ones coming out here and up here so it's looking really good and it was 1998 which is pretty much all their trending tropicals or 1998 but they had a really nice selection at that particular home depot um so i may start going to that one now because the one in kissimmee is a little bit harder to get to and this one is kind of a straight shot for me going down south on the 27 there so yeah the begonium maculata whitey eye I remember when these were, everybody wanted one and they were so hard to get. And yeah, there you go. <laughs> so the next one, you knew, you knew I could not leave without getting this Silver Streak, a Prenum Silver Streak. I've never seen one in person. This was the first time I had seen it in person. I've seen it on other plant tubers videos and such. And, um, you know, I thought, ooh, I want one of those. But this one here, look at the aerial roots coming out on that one. And over here, too, really incredible aerial root growth vining already. So when I do repot this one out of this uh, soil, I'm gonna put it on a moss pole, I think, and get it growing up because it looks like it's looking for something, shooting off these aerial roots to grab onto. So I do believe I'm gonna put it in a little bit bigger pot and um, put it on a moss pole so it can start growing up. I mean, I could let it uh, trail, but I don't know, it just seems like it wants to grow up a moss pole, I think. So let me know, friends, have you seen one of these yet in one of your big box store locations? This is the very first one I've seen, and they had um, four or five of them there. Um, so, you know, I was pleasantly surprised. They had actually a pretty good selection. They had the uh, lemon meringue and the global green and um so a nice selection of them there you go friends it was just a, a quick trip because you know the rain was coming but i'm really really happy with the two that i got and um you know i'll be repotting them here probably in about a week or so so you know maybe i'll do a video on that too but i'm really happy with the selections that i got friends thanks so much for coming along with me on this uh, rainy little field trip that we took and i will see you in the next video friends remember to like this video and share it with your friends and family and also subscribe if you haven't already okay because Georgie here would really appreciate it. <laughs> okay. Thanks so much, friends. I'll see you in the next video. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye now.